So the last the last expansion for Dragonflight just dropped, and uh, <laughs> a lot of people have a lot of things to say. Here's the thing, right? I really feel as though this expansion is 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 the the ending at least is perfect. It's the perfect ending for this expansion. Why? Because this expansion wasn't a serious lore expansion. What do I mean? All right, let's jump into it, shall we? So, you've got the base game, right? Base game is World of Warcraft. After World of Warcraft, you have the fun expansion that gives you a little bit more to do. After the fun expansion, you have the serious lore expansion where where systems are changed, the the the, the lore is just popping and you're here for the story. Now, after Wrath of the Lich King, we fucked up because we tried to do a second serious lore expansion. Change the entire world, introduce a, 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 a overarching villain from the original games kind of fell flat so what did we do after that we introduced a fun expansion moved away from the serious characters took us to some place whimsical a little bit of whimsy a little bit of fun took us to pandaria and then we attempted to do another serious expansion in the form of warlords draenor what happened we fell flat so we went back to the drawing board and we came up with another serious expansion, which once again, the lore was popping. Everything was A1. Illidan came back. We beat the shit out of Sargeras. Sargeras stabbed the world. What happened after Legion? We, had, we went into a non-serious expansion where, where, where the lore wasn't as serious as the Legion lore. It wasn't top tier, but it was fun. It introduced some pretty decent systems, the ability to go around and have fun between, um, I don't remember the name of the fucking continents, uh, Cult Tyrus and, um, damn, why the hell do I forget like what the other zone is? Whatever, doesn't matter. So, what happens after Battle for Azeroth? We enter Shadowlands, and Shadowlands is where somebody took a metal rod and stuck it into the wheel spoke of the bike as we were riding downhill, and we absolutely fucking crashed. Nothing was good about Shadowlands. The lore was garbage. The system that they introduced was trash. The 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 reps that you had to grind were were absolute fucking dog shit. The only thing that saved Shadowlands was Revendreth. If I could spend my entire time in a constantly expanding Revendreth, I'd be one hundred percent happy. But that wasn't the case. Shadowlands required me to go around and do a bunch of shit with a villain who made absolutely no fucking sense. So what did you have to do after Shadowlands? You had to bring it back to a fun expansion. A fun expansion that was full of color and full of wonder and full of exploration. That's where we are with Dragonflight. Now, after Dragonflight, you know, history dictates that War Within is going to be a serious fucking expansion. But people coming for Dragonflight's neck, especially with the fucking ending, makes absolutely no fucking sense to me. Because what this essentially was is a season of the Power Rangers. Yep. That's what Dragonflight is. Like, if you went into Dragonflight taking it super serious with all the with all the 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 dragon, literally the dragon flights and their plights, you completely got lost in the sauce. This was an ep a season of the Power Rangers. You had the red, you had the red rangers, you had the green rangers, you had the blue rangers, you had the yellow rangers, you had the black rangers, and at some point in time, they come into contention with the evil variants of the power rangers and then at some point in time one of those evil variants seizes the light and becomes the new white ranger for the team and then they realize god damn we shouldn't have been fighting as rangers we were all family from the fucking beginning and they come together and 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 and, and they fly off and go back to zordon's uh to, to 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 zordon's fucking his fucking thing so that they can start fighting like the actual bad guys that we're going to see in the next expansion but that's all it was that all, that's all it is. This was just, this was just, if you never liked Power Rangers, you weren't going to like Dragonflight because the ending was basically the ending to a season of Power Rangers where you had all the core color rangers lined up and then you had the new white ranger who just joined this season and who was low-key stronger than all the other rangers become a member of the team going forward fighting all of these different uh, 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 villains that you're going to fucking run into. That's all. I think the ending to this expansion is fucking perfect. There's nothing wrong with it at all, and we're basically just waiting for War Within because the hope is that uh, War Within is going to be that super serious fucking expansion that we can sit down, sink our teeth into, and enjoy all of the different lore nuggets 
that are essentially being dropped. But you know, hey, maybe I'm a madman, but that's the upside of my channel. I can I can upload maddening and insane shit. But let me know what you think. Comment down below and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.